On today's video, I'm going to be going over how to create a animated prop that also has collisions animated with it. So first, uh, what we're going to do is we're going to so let's say we're going to animate this fan and we want it to spin. Uh, you're going to want to like split it into the part that like rotates or whatever and the part that's like static, which would be the base here. I'm just going to select all this. I'm just going to separate it into its own object like this. I'm going to select both of these, go to drawables, create drawable objects and click convert to drawable. Then we can just go ahead and rename these meshes so it's easier. I'm going to name this uh, this. And then we can go ahead and rename our drawable as well. Like that. Then with your drawable selected, go to fragments, create fragment objects and click create fragment. Then just rename your fragment. Then select both of your meshes and in the fragments create tool, whatever, uh, select your fragment object and then click create physic bones. Then expand the skeleton, go into edit mode on the skeleton and parent the blades to the base uh, mesh or bone actually. Like that. And just make sure these are set correctly. Like, this isn't blades. I gotta rename this. I just realized. Okay, so. Now that they're named correctly. So, go into pose mode on your bones. And with both of these selected. Go to Drawables, Bone Tools, and click Rotation and Translation. Then we're going to go to the Fragment Physics tab, and we're going to change a couple settings for these bones. With the Strength, we're going to set to negative 1, and the 2 below that, just set to 0. And then all these ones down at the bottom, the Scale ones, make sure they're all 0. And just do that for both of the bones. Now what we can do is, actually I'm going to rename our skeleton real quick, just so it's our fragment name and then dot scale. Uh, now we can select our fragment, go to collisions, create bounds, and create a bound composite. And just go ahead and rename it. Now uh, you can create your collisions, you can do this with collider tools, it's a free blender add-on. I'm just going to create a box for each of these blades. And now that we have these done, I'm just going to parent these to the BVH, or no, the bound composite. And I'm going to unlink these from the collection and just delete that collection. Then select all the collision boxes, go to general, set solemn type, and set these to a bound box. Make sure it's not a bound poly box. Then I'm going to set the material to wood solid small. And I'm just going to link it to the other boxes. And now we have to select the first, or just one of them. Go to the Object Constraint tab, and add a Child of Constraint. And then constrain it to the Fragment Object. Then we want to set it to the Blades Bone. And make sure you expand this and click the button here. And then just do that for each of these. And now that we've done that, what we can do is now we can begin animating it. So what we're going to do is go to the uh, animations tab, click create clip dictionary. And then we're just going to name it uh, anim and then the at symbol and then our fragment name. Then click on animations, click create for, uh, animation, then do the same for clip. And we're going to rename the animation to the exact same as our fragment object. Otherwise, I don't believe it'll work. And do the same for the clip, name it the same. 
and go to the properties of the animation, set the hash to the same name, and for the target, set it to your fragment skeleton. For the clip, set the name as the same as your fragment, and for the, or no, set the hash to the same as your fragment name, and for the name, set it to your, the name, and then add dot clip at the end. Then go to linked animations, click new, and set the animation. We're going to leave the duration and frame range for now, as we haven't animated it yet. So now we can begin animating it. So if we go to the timeline, we can start at zero. And I'm just going to make this end at 10 frames, because it's rotating like the same, so you don't need that many frames. We're just going to go into pose mode on our skeleton. Select our fan blades bone. I'm just going to keep, uh, here, let me go to zero, then insert a keyframe. I'm going to make sure these rotate, like, pretty accurately, so I'm going to set my uh, 3D cursor here, just so I can know where to rotate it to. And so I'm just going to rotate this a bit more, and about there. Oh, wait, i got to go to the 10th keyframe first, and then rotate it. So just about that, then I'm going to keyframe there, and you can see here that, but now you see that it's like stuttering almost, it's like not smooth. To fix this, select all the keyframes, press V, and click Vector, and this should fix it. So it's like constant almost. It's not a perfect animation, I'm sure you can make this bit better if you actually care enough, but yeah. Um, now go back to your animation, set the action. Go to your clip and set the duration. So the duration is your frame count divided by 30. So this would be your frame count or your duration. Then set the frame range to the uh, end keyframe value, which is 10. That should be it. So now we can create our Y type for our fragment. If we go here, I'm just going to make this. Then auto create. And for the clip dictionary, just copy the name and put it there. And for the flags, make sure you have has anim and auto start anim. And we can just go ahead and export this. And export our other two things. And for the export settings for your fragment, make sure you have these two collision options enabled. Yeah, I... what the fuck? Oh, I didn't set the mass. Okay, so for your fragment... Go to your collision boxes, select all of them, go to fragments, uh, and then set mass and click calculate. Then just go ahead and export it again. Oh, I gotta disable the fragment physics for this here. Because it doesn't have any collisions. So for your base bone, disable the fragment physics checkbox. Then just export it again. Now we can go ahead and import everything. Make sure you export this. And we can just go ahead and restart Code Walker. And if we view our fan, it should be spinning. There. And if you view the collisions in Code Walker, they won't be animated, but they should be in game. So, uh, yeah, with that being said, I hope this video helps you. And let me know if you have any further suggestions.